interesting thing of the day was definitely crypto as Bitcoin went through 100, got the congratulations and the you're welcome from the incoming president. A lot of hoopla's we crossed through a massive level that many have been arguing for years. So congrats to the Bitcoiners and congrats to those who also been following the risk radar because the green light since the initial break out of that long-term downtrend has served very well. And I'm proud being a crypto cynic. The price action still is what drove the coverage here. Now, the green light is holding. That's been there since, I think it was October, like October 18th, something like that. But I'm a little wary because one thing that's really developed here that could be very problematic is the micro strategy situation. There's no way around it. This feat of financial engineering is way less stable than anything you could argue of stability in actual Bitcoin. Just think about the layers that have been built on this. And I've been curious as to whether or not the tail would start to wag the dog a little bit, given all of the products built around micro strategy. And I think we kind of saw that a little bit here today. I don't want to get carried away with it right now. But if we start to see micro strategy leading the coin price, then I think we're going to be in an issue because that's not a bullish situation for the coiners. Look at the action today, firstly, is Bitcoin did eventually follow, but MicroStrategy was pretty weak right out of the gate. And we continue to see that the downside early on was eventually followed by BTC. If you zoom out again, there still is a bit of a technical hurdle that needs to be uh, breached too for Bitcoin. That is the relative strength and the momentum. Both of these are very high momentum assets. So you wanna see the relative strength pick up. You wanna see the actual overbought conditions come back. So for BTC, I've been talking about this quite a bit. We got to the overbought. That's what high momentum assets love. Then we went back below the 70 level and now we're creeping. So Bitcoin looks pretty good in that regard right now. It looks like it's warming back up again. That's good. That's good for Bitcoin. MicroStrategy though looks distinctly softer and that's because the move, this big exponential move happened early on. That was before we got the big Bitcoin pop through to 100. So we've already kind of seen MicroStrategy's big, big moves presage crypto moves. And then today on the intraday, we actually saw MicroStrategy's downside also go into the Bitcoin and crypto move too. And I think there's some sense here actually to that logic. By the way, the relative strength here, which has been underneath that overbought high momentum level tells us MicroStrategy has lost a little bit of its step relative to BTC. And if it starts going south, then that's not a good situation if it's leading Bitcoin, because this is now a totally different product that has lots of money. Think about it from just the beginning here. Michael Saylor buys a bunch of Bitcoin, okay? Then obviously you have a direct relationship in your business to the Bitcoin you own. But then when you start selling debt, you start selling equity, that's when the leverage gets built on and it gets increasingly convex where outcomes that are negative then could create zero type situation events. That's the whole point of convexity. You can get explosive moves. We talk about gamma a lot in options. There's basically gamma here. And then there's a lever ETFs on top of that, which then have massive flows. Then you've got all the options trading at an extremely high premium where billions are trading basically on a daily basis in premium on the micro strategy options. Micro strategy is not Bitcoin now. So moves in Bitcoin to the downside could have exacerbated reactions in micro strategy that obviously has a break even price of that could potentially have financial ruin. That's totally a separate thing from the underlying coin. If MicroStrategy starts moving Bitcoin and it's a higher risk, higher volatile asset, that's not a good situation.